Greasy gang. Or don't. Bang! You know who it is and you know what it is. It's your boy C. Greasy. Back with another informational video. Thank you for coming back and tuning in. So, I'm here to give you guys another mediocre video and extremely unpopular YouTube page. Now, I'm going to give you the context behind that silly little comment, but today's topic is words hurting others. Now, let's get right down to it. So, we all can't be Deadpool, you feel me? Where we can say any and everything we want. We try to, but at the end of the day, you do have a limit of compassion. Everyone does have some type of limit of hurting others when it comes to saying certain words to other people. Some people have no filter. That's great. That's great. You know, say what you feel, how you feel. But at the end of the day, it, that's one person who will come into your life to where you do feel a little bad for saying certain things. <clears throat> now, just as proof, even in the Bible, it tells you about the words that come out of your mouth are very powerful and they can hurt other people. Now, when I say hurt, I don't mean physically but more so mentally, psychologically. It messes with people's heads depending on what you say to them and the situation. It could even be in sports. For example, if somebody tells you you suck every single day in sports, there's only two ways that you're going to turn that around. Either one, you're going to turn all that negative energy into positive and become one of the greatest. Or two, you're going to let it affect you. Those words are going to weigh heavy. And you really are going to turn into either a mediocre player or just trash. Why? Because you let the words of others soak into you so deep that it's actually playing an effect into your mind and onto your physical being. Not a lot of people in this world are strong-willed, strong-minded. So therefore, that little saying, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words may never hurt me. As you got older, as a grown adult, you realized that saying was false. You realized that saying was only something for you to sing along to as a little kid. Because as an adult, we come to the conclusion and the reality that what you say not only could come true, a.k.a. dreams, but what you say can also manifest into evil. You have that choice as a person to manifest good or evil out of your mouth onto others. Now, let me pop this on the screen. Now, y'all look at this comment. This is where I got that mediocre and unpopular page comment from. Now, the context of this comment is I haven't spoke to this person since 2012 in person, let alone online. So the whole purpose of that comment was that girl the last time I spoke to her before 2012, I believe was 2006 in Latchkey when we were in, you know, middle school. Now, during the time I told that girl she was ugly and that her sister looked better than her. Now, we were little kids. You know, when you're a little kid, you do say ugly things to each other. Obviously, this person has not let go of that comment that I said to them all the way back to when we were little kids. Because I haven't never commented on that person's page. I've never messaged them on Facebook. I haven't talked to them. I just had them on 
my page for all these years. I commented one time and that was just my video to their post because they shared a Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion post. So I grabbed my YouTube link from my Cardi B video and I posted it as a comment. As you can see, the unnecessary comment that she states follow. And then you can see my comments because truly I did think it was funny because it was just so unnecessary. And it just made me realize that, wow, I guess what I said to this girl years, years ago, all the way back in 2006, she never let that go. Because if that was my first time ever commenting on anything you ever posted for years that I've had you on Facebook, and you said something so unnecessary like that to me, it just lets me know deep down in your heart, maybe you was waiting until I messaged you or commented on your page. So you can say something to me to make yourself feel better in hopes that I would be hurt. But I'm not hurt. I just needed, I needed that wake up call. That's all it was and that's why I'm making this video. Because not only did that wake me up to realize that words truly do hurt people and they can sit inside someone's heart for many years. People can be hurt for so long off of a comment that I said to that girl was that little seed was just in her heart. And it grew and grow and grow for many years. And as you can see in that comment of what she said to me, she's obviously still hurt. So this is an important message to everybody out there. As an adult, because when we were kids, we didn't know. But as adults, think twice as hard before you speak. You got two ears, one mouth. Listen twice as much as you speak. You got one big brain. Think twice to three times more than you speak. Because what you say today will reside in your future presence. Think long and hard about that. If you're still here watching this video, I thank you for staying tuned and getting this knowledge. I appreciate you for giving me this view. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to share as well. And I love you guys, man. Truly, I do. I'm going to keep making these bangers. I'm going to keep putting this knowledge out there for any and everybody. Because it's not just me that's woke to this. It's other people who have been woke to this. Who are just now waking into this. And some are still asleep. And maybe this video will help them out. So I love you and I thank you again. Peace. I know some people do it like they never come.